Okay, day 24. So now we talk about the other half of warming, which is um, recreation and message. So recreation, much like F O F and O, um, is another way to get to know the person. Um, what do they do for fun? What are their hobbies? Are they uh, members of a club? Do they volunteer? Um, do they go to the beach? Do they go camping? Is there some family trip that they do every year? You know, get to get to know what they enjoy, what kind of movies they like, what kind of music. Um, you know, it's probably the, the easiest way to connect with somebody because more than likely you're going to find music you both like or a uh, movie you both like. Maybe you both really like the Harry Potter portion of Universal Studios. Who knows? But, you know, get them talking about what they enjoy, what they like doing, um, what's something they'd really love to do this year, that kind of stuff. Um, and once you spend a little bit of time getting to know this person, you know, talking about their family, what they do for a living, what they do for fun, that's when the message portion of forming comes in. And this is where you basically tailor, ta tailor your invitation to mirror whatever it is that they need. If they talked about their occupation and they really um, are struggling with money or they were hating their job, you know, maybe it's a good good time to invite them to the coaching opportunity and explain that to them. You know, not overwhelm them, but just introduce the idea. If they really want more, you know, weight loss or better nutrition, better eating habits, um, you know, they gained a bunch of weight over the holidays or something, then maybe that's a good time to, you know, bring up a free challenge group, free accountability group. Say they have a vacation coming up, they need to lose some weight or get in shape really quickly. You know, you can bring up Challenge Pack or a program like 21 Day Fix or um, even T25 or something like that. So really, you know, listen during that conversation where you're asking them about the family and the occupation and the recreation. And see if there's something in there that you can help them with. I mean, we have so many products at Beachbody. And, and obviously the coaching opportunity, there's no reason that there isn't some way you could help this person either get more time with their family or get healthier, you know, help them cut down on their medication or, you know, help them get more fit so they can do more hiking, which they love, but they haven't done in forever. You know, I mean, get to know them and then figure out how you can help, um, help them with, you know, any area of their life that they talked about. And, and don't be shy about it. Again, we're just helping people here. In the worst case, they say no, they're not interested. That's okay. But it's not your job to decide whether they're interested or not. It's their job. It's their, their privilege to decide if they're ready for this or not, or if they want something or not. Don't do that decision for them. Your job is to inform them. So you get to know them, build a relationship, and then if you see an opportunity to help them, go for it and share that opportunity. And I really think, like I mentioned in the previous video, this takes practice. You're not going to be perfect at this right away, and that's okay. And, and maybe you will be perfect. Some people are great at just talking to strangers. But if you're like me and you have a hard time with it, this is a really good technique to work with. And it's perfect for social media because you can have that interaction back and forth at a slightly slower pace <laughs> as opposed to talking to face-to-face to, -face to somebody. Um, so it's a great approach whether you're talking online or you know, at a church or at school or wherever. Um, so really practice it. It will get easier. You'll get better. You'll get better asking questions. You'll feel more comfortable sharing your message. So really get out there and just meet people and practice, practice, practice. So I'm going to post a couple additional training materials um, below this video because um, there are a couple things that I, I have found really helpful when I've been trying to get better at this skill and get better at forming and just meeting with people. Um, so one of them is Melissa McAllister's national coach call from not too long ago, um, and then a couple video trainings that I will add to here. And then the last note, four times a year, Beachbody has this nationwide event called Super Saturday, where um, coaches all around the country basically set up an event. Um, so likely you'll have one near you. Um, you have to go on the Facebook, excuse me, the um, Beachbody back office where they'll usually say what date it's going to be on and then people will register their different sites. It's often at like hotels or in people's homes depending on where you're at and how big the Beachbody community is there. But these are excellent events to practice forming because it's a pretty safe 
environment because it's oftentimes mostly beach body coaches and they're happy to meet people, they're happy to get to know other coaches in the area, they're happy to connect with them. So it's an excellent way to sort of risk-free practice your forming skill and, and get talking to complete strangers and, and asking those questions and getting a feedback and seeing whether you can make connections and then figure out how to, how to give opportunity to those people. So I highly suggest you get to one of those. Um, there will be one in April, I believe. Um, because they're really a great way to practice interacting with strangers in a way, or at least in a place where the likelihood of rejection is not going to be too high. People are going to be very friendly and happy to get to know you. So I really do suggest checking out the next upcoming uh, Super Saturday in April. But yeah, so just make sure you watch the rest of today's materials and go through um, the National Coach Call, either the MP3 or just the transcript. And, um, you know, keep practicing. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>